Okay, so adding a new user, I've just added one then, um, a fake one. Uh, adding a new user allows them to, uh, allows you to control what they see. Okay, now you can disable the visual editor. Visual editors are just, uh, there's two, when you edit a post or a page, you can use visual or HTML. I prefer using HTML because it makes you learn things. Um, uh, show toolbar when viewing websites. So when they're on the website, they see the toolbar at the top when they're logged in. And here's the role. Okay, this is the important thing. What role are you going to give uh, a person? Okay, so you the roles and capabilities are found on WordPress. Okay, here's a summary. Now, super admin you won't see unless you are more than likely unless you are running a network of websites. So just not one website from WordPress, but multiple websites in the one uh, administration. Administrator is usually the top level, somebody who has access to all the administration features in the site. The second thing is the editor, someone who can publish and manage posts, including posts of other users, but they don't get full access. An author is someone who can publish and manage their own posts only. And a contributor is someone who can write and manage their own posts, but cannot publish them. And what that means is that when they write a post and, and, and click publish, it will be held for moderation by you and you have to approve it before it goes live. And a subscriber is someone who can only manage their profile. And usually subscribers are people who are, for instance, joining uh, this and doing a um, and doing a, a course online where they only have access to the course materials and that's it in their profile. And that's it. But you can read a little bit more about this um, on, uh, on, on the roles and what actually features they do have, each one of them and it, it breaks it down what they can and cannot do. And it's, it's worthwhile learning that. Um, again, make sure their biograph biographical information is updated and you'll see, um, and make sure their password is strong as well. You won't see this information unless you've got that plugin installed. And again, if you've got the SEO by Yoast plugin installed, you'll see some further things. You can fill in like their Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus profiles. Okay, so that's basically it for adding and editing a user. Uh, just be careful to go through and make sure that uh, they, they've got everything they need to know.